stuff here. True power fitness for pitchers and all athletes. Listen, I missed a couple days. My daughter's graduation uh, from high school and um, the ensuing uh, festivities with family and everything. Couldn't get any, couldn't get a vid out. Anyway, so here we are. And we're going to try again. We're going to try to do one a day. And uh, that's that. Anyway, we're talking we'll talk about diet in a minute. Let me compress a little bit. Get a little uh, PNF and a little uh, energy going on. And we will get going. Posture. Very important with anything you do. But certainly with kettlebells. All right, <laughs> I love it. Kettlebells are the best. <sighs> Strength, flexibility, endurance. Listen to me. What was that? Fifteen seconds worth of exercise, and I've already got a little breath going. And I'm I'm a marathon runner. Anyway, uh, diet. So much has been said, guys. So much has been said. But here's the deal. And what I'm going to tell you is absolutely backed up by mountains, mountains of scientific evidence that is, there is no refute. And you have are going to have lots of different things going on, but I'm telling you, guys, I got my certification at Cornell University, which is one of the largest research uh, university de department, health department universities in, in, in the world. And it's just mountains of research to back this up. And it is so simple. I mean, so many of you guys, <clears throat> you know, you hear it after the day after they uh, somebody pitches a, a nine inning, 120 pitch shutout, 13 strikeout masterpiece, right? All of a sudden their arm's a little tender the next day. It may have nothing to do with what they did with their motion or pitching the night before. It may be have what to do they've been eating. The standard American diet and these paleo diets are so highly, highly inflammatory in so many ways, and I'm not going to get into the, the molecular, what's going on and everything. You don't need to know that. Um, but what inflammation does, for example, arthritis or something, which is not what's going on with the diet, but when inflammation hits, what does it hit first? Your joints, your elbows, your shoulder. Guys, so much of what you are experienced with discomfort in the arm and whatnot could have very much have to do with your diet. And if it is not the whole thing, if you have, you know, blown out a tendon or something, it certainly has something to do with it. Guys, okay, anyway, I don't want to get into that. I want to get into the specifics. Okay, first of all, fruits and vegetables. They are the cornerstone of every single meal that you eat for the rest of your life, just for health. This has no really has nothing to do with pitchers. It has to do with anybody. If somebody wants to come into my, comes into my, I have dozens of clients that want to lose weight, hundreds of clients that want to lose weight. I give them the same thing. Okay. This is just super, super health. But for pitchers, it can really, and athletes, it can really, you know, max you out. Um, with that said, fruits and vegetables, you deluge yourself with fruits and vegetables. This is what I am eating until about 10 or 11 o'clock today, okay? That is vegetable, Gary, no, green stuff and red stuff. It all looks like it's in, it's in a mirror turned around. I get no money for promoting these things. They're fabulous, fabulous. They're the, absolutely, they're all organic. They're the best thing you can put on, on the market. But you deluge your system with all the vitamins, nutrients, fruits and vegetables are the most nutrient dense food you can put in your mouth. Nutrient dense food you can put in your mouth. If you just overwhelm your system with fruits and vegetables, number one, you'll be the healthiest person on the planet. I go days, weeks, months, and all I eat are fruits and vegetables sometimes. 
And when I'm training for a big race, if I'm training for something, that's, that's what I will do. I will go on that regimen because it is so healthy. It is confining. It is confining. There's so many other great foods out there, not to mention the crap, that is very, very hard to stay on. I'm not saying it doesn't. But if you make that, fruits and vegetables, the part, the cornerstone of the rest of your diet, you are going to be healthy the rest of your life. When I get through my drink, six bananas, that will be my breakfast. I'm still hungry. I'll have some rice. I might have more vegetables. For lunch, I'll have an enormous salad. Guys, you can't beat for nutrient dense. If you are going to be a supercharged athlete, you have to get the absolute most nutrients you can possibly get for everything you put in your in your mouth. As far as nutrients are concerned, a slab of meat, you might you might as well just eat cardboard. As far as vitamins, minerals, there's nothing in it that, that will do you any good. Fruits and vegetables. Okay? Now, after a workout, after a game, the best thing you can do before you eat anything is just fruits and vegetables, especially the juice. Now, these are powders. I don't know if you can see it. See, it's a powder. You just put a scoop in a container of water, and boom, you're ready to go. You have a container of this. You bring it to your practice, and as soon as you're done, what that does, that immediately starts to flush out all the lactic acid that you built up from, from the molecular breakdown of your workout. And guys... You will unbelievably help with recovery the next day. You'll be amazed how little, less stiff, if at all, stiff and sore you are the next day as, as opposed to what you're, you're, you're doing. Not only that, guys, it will get you shredded. It will get you lean. And that is what you want as a pitcher. The top pitchers, they don't look like Syndergaard. I'm, I, I'm not, uh, you know, hating on Syndergaard. I'm not. I, I wish the guy could win 30 games. I'm a Mets fan. But what you want is lean. Get your Look, if you have to walk up a stairs, what is going to be easier? If you have to walk up a flight of stairs or, or sprint up a flight of stairs, if you weigh 100 pounds or 200 pounds, what is going to be easier? Obviously, the 150 pounds. It's going to be easier. You're carrying an extra 50 pounds around for everything you do. It's just harder to do. The top pitchers, Pedro, Lincecum, you go back to Satchel Page. They were not all bulked up freaks. The greatest athlete that ever lived, Bruce Lee, who is a PNF genius, <laughs> lean. I mean, he weighed about 135 pounds, and the, the, the compression and, and the, the, the power that he could build up he could knock a 255 guy, 50 pound guy across the room with a single punch. That's what you're after, a big Frankenstein. Guys, that's not what you want. Get lean. Make, and I don't want you restricting calories. You never, never restrict calories. Never. Okay? When you're hungry, eat. And when in doubt, eat fruits and vegetables. I'll talk some more about this in another video. But that is the cornerstone of what you want, as much as you can get into your body. If all you eat all day is fruits and vegetables, you'll be the healthiest man on the planet. And I can almost guarantee if you stay off the weights and do some other training, you will never hurt your arm. All right? Trust me on this one. Fruits and veggies for the win. Okay, guys, that's it for today. We'll do some more next time. Get that going. Get some PNF going. Get a kettlebell, get in a kettlebell class, and, and just watch the velocity go through the roof. Okay. Love you all. Have a great day.